Hello again, loves. Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Stretch the Sketch, a monthly series that is the brainchild of the lovely Janet Fritz, where we pick a sketch and really the only basis is you can make anything but a 12 by 12. So I use this to continue on in my um, October daily from last year, still working on that November and December. Um, as you know, I took most of December off and November was getting a little hard too, um, but we are now through the end of the year at my job and things have settled down quite a bit, settled into the new role and everything is going good for now. <laughs> so I am on day 23 here. Um, kind of switching up the way I do videos. There will be like process videos. There will be these type of just reviewing what I did depending on time and schedule in my life. I need scrapbooking to be a hobby and fun for me. Um, and at the end of last year, it was getting to be not fun anymore trying to produce, you know, one, two, three videos a day. And that is just not realistic for someone like me that works roughly about 60 hours a week um, at my full-time job. I am a, um, I'm the shipping STOT manager for the St. Louis site, and it is a new process that I have essentially helped create, build, and mold. Um, so lots of work going into it, but let me tell you guys what, it was the best decision I ever made leaving the old job and coming to this new company who definitely recognizes and supports hard and talented work, something that I am not used to. Um, I'm getting used to it, been there, we'll be there for a year in April, and I'm super excited, but nonetheless, so as time permits, I will have, you know, process videos, mixed media videos, but if I can create when my husband's watching TV, then I can't, you know, really do a voiceover and stuff like that, so working on things right. Um, I do have all live process videos on the members portion of my channel where we do all kinds of mixed media and fun stuff, so nothing is taken out. Um, but that being said, let's get into this layout right here. As you see here was the sketch, and it was done by the Creative Scrappers. Um, it's a Cricut-inspired layout from the blog, and we have all kinds of fun stuff here. So what I did was I took this circular, looks like they made it with... Um, you know, Cricut die cuts, and I decided to try to jump in and use a good portion of my button stash. So I am a little bit off center, but that's because I started with it closer down. As you see, that's not actually a perfect circle. So, and I did just use a lot of the clear ones. I don't have very many left. I'm trying to work through that button stash. Um, this year is all about spending freeze and using up the stash that I have. So, in order to get the, what it looks to be is probably two photos and a title, I went ahead and did a little photo because this is my October daily and did two large cut aparts. Went ahead and kind of just, basically I have <laughs> this circle. As you can see, it's a well-loved piece of cardstock that I cut out um, from my circle cutter and I use it for mixed media to kind of like block things off so you have a fun circle. Um, but I just kind of used this like this and just kind of got the pattern and glued them around that way, popped it down here, glued them around that way as well so that I could have the fun, perfect circle. Took some Brutus Monroe um, Chroma Mist, splattered it all over, grabbed um, and I've been doing some reorg in the uh, craft room here, so got a whole bunch of new and fun uh, organization stuff. So still just getting used to where everything's at. I took one of my Stadler pins and just drew sketchy lines, and then I kind of outlined all of this stuff just to give a little bit of definition and depth to the layout. Popped my 23 on some scraps. This is just a fun white piece of cardstock, um, and since I created all these, I had to write on here what they were for, and I messed up. <laughs> Go me. But yeah, this is what we've got going on. I absolutely love this. It is a bit chunky because of those buttons, but that's okay. Um, I did pop this up on some foam and just tucked this in, this little 
um, chipboard piece underneath it. So making a lot of progress in this album. Um, so pretty excited about that. And uh, that is it. Do not forget to go check everybody else out that plays along with Janet and Stretch the Sketch. People go big, people go small. You just can't stay at a 12 by 12. So this is one that I really like and it's going to add a lot of interest to the album because there is so much white going on. I mean, there is a lot going on on the page, but yet it looks clean other than the funky splatters, right? So that is going to do it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Do all the fun YouTube-y things. And I will see you later with another video. Bye.